Right, welcome everybody to the um, 41st Friday morning warm up and uh, we've got a, a usual mixed bag of things for us to do today. Um, as always, we're going to start with a little bit of a clap and um, ju I've just put a slightly simplified one up today just to, for, to give you a bit more of a chance of getting those feet coordinated with your clapping. Uh, so <laughs> here we go. Two, one, two, three, four. Keep those feet going. One more time. Okay, uh, that's a little bit of a clap there just to get uh, things moving, a little bit of blood moving through your body. And uh, okay, if you'd like to pick up your instruments and we will just do some nice um, long tones and some twiddling on the, the instrument. So I'm just gonna um, play the concert F, the note concert F and um, you can do what you like for, uh, we'll have a minute of warming up our instruments. Here we go. a bit of air into them and um, giving them a bit of a, a bit of a vibration and uh, so we're going to do the chromatic scale next so a slightly different pattern today um, it's going to start on um, the chromatic note uh, chromatic note the um, concert note F concert F because our scale today is uh, F mixolydian so we're going to start on concert F and then we're going to go up um, two more semitones um, to F sharp and G before then going to the next semitone F sharp and going up two more from there. So little patterns of three notes. Does that make sense? So F, F sharp, G, then F sharp, G, G sharp. Da, da, da. Sounds like a relentless version of we'll meet again. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's get the metronome going at um, about 75 and then um, after four. So you could do it going up three semitones, then moving up to the next starting semitone. We'll do an octave of that. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
concert. I hope you all um, got that pattern, new pattern. So starting on concert F, up two semitones, then up to the next. Two, three, four. just a straightforward chromatic scale or one octave up and then straight down again without repeating the top note uh, so from F up to um... now if you're playing on guitar you might want to start in a different position because you're gonna traditionally you go further and further down the neck as you get higher but um, I'm gonna start on the, the higher octave um, or start on the 13th fret, and that's another way of doing it. So, okay, so um, one octave chromatic scale going up and then straight down again. One, oh, uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's do that again. I forgot to come down. <laughs> After four. One, two, three, four. And down. And one more time, and this time a little bit faster. So. Uh, 110 now. One, no, one, two, one, two, three, four. And there we have today's uh, chromatic scale. Good. Let's go on to the um, exercise sheet. So if you'd like to get that up on the screen in front of you or, um, or look at the screen I've put in front of you or get your printouts ready. We're going to look at the um, Mixolydian scale. F Mixolydian. Concert mix, F Concert Mixolydian. The um, Mixolydian, a couple of ways of thinking about this if you've um, not that familiar with it. Um, it's the same as the F major scale, except that the seventh note, the leading note, the in this case the that would be the E, is flattened to an E flat. So it's got a minor seventh in it rather than the major seventh. So that's one way of looking at F mixolydian. It's the major F major scale with a flattened seventh. Uh, and another way of looking at it um, is that it's the B flat major scale without anything flattened the B flat major scale but starting on F so you're just starting it on the fifth degree of the B flat scale and going from F to F through the B flat notes so they're the two uh, traditional ways of looking at uh, F mixolydian okay good we're going to play the uh, first bar now so um, so just playing one octave of F mixolydian as shown on your sheets. G for the tenors and alt, uh, tenors and trumpets, and of course um, D D for the altos. C for everybody else, or F for everybody else. <laughs> Get that right. Here we go. One octave. One and two. One, two, three, four. Second bar, no, 
as always, if it's going too high, just repeat the first bar. After four, one, two, three, four. After four, one, two, three, four. Last time, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's do those first two bars then. So this is going to be two octaves of the Mixolydian scale. And as always, don't forget to repeat that middle note um, rather than just flying through from beginning to end. <laughs> After four, first two bars, one, two, three, four. first of the descending bars so it's going to come down from concert F to concert F after four two three four and again one two three four to the uh, bar four and second octave two three four two three four uh, bar four for the last time two three four the pattern we're now going to play the bars three and four all the way down one two three four because we're going to do the um, all four bars next so um, I just saw a message coming through but for some reason it's not displaying it so I can't read it hope it's not too important just unmute yourself if it's something urgent and let me know <laughs> otherwise I'll read it later okay uh, so doing all four bars now right from left to right top line of the um, sheet one two three four now that's quite a lot of notes in a short space of time so I'm just going to slow it down a little bit more time to think here we go you can hear the metronomes are going a little bit slower one and two and three and four and of course there's nothing wrong in playing a, a scale more slowly you can concentrate on the quality of note and the uh, consistency of the sound as well so um, let's do that for the last time two three four and there we have 
have it, the concert F Mixolydian scale, two octaves, good. Let's move on to the second line of the sheet. And this is simply the, um, the, the major triad, uh, the concert F again, major triad. Um, but we've got the, I've shown the first inversion of it. And what the first inversion means is that rather than it being root, then the third and then the fifth going up, the root note is moved from the bottom to the top, uh, up an octave, so that the bottom note is now the third. So now it goes third, fifth, root. And, uh, and that's when I was asking for songs which started on that because from being a major third plus a minor third as the two stacked thirds um, to give you the, the major triad, a major third plus a, a minor third on top, you've now got a different set of intervals. You've got a minor third on the bottom and you've got a perfect fourth above it to make the uh, first inversion. And in order to recognize it, it's good to know a song which starts with that um, particular three note um, triad. And we've had some suggestions and um, they're all good ones. Um, Bless them all from Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Bless them all. Bless them all. Uh, that tune. Um, Julie suggested um, White Cliffs of Dover. They'll be blue. Uh, skies over the river. Uh, and I suggested <laughs> a less known one, Tuana Taxi. Now, do you know that one? Herb Alpert. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, perhaps not so easy to remember because it hasn't got words. But um, they all start with this um, first inversion of a major triad. Um, if anyone else has got any suggestions, please do send them in. Uh, it's always useful to know. I'm also struggling on uh, inversions of minor triads. Um, got the regular root position ones, but the inversions of minor triads. If anyone knows any songs starting on them, do let me know. Good. Okay, let's go on. Let's just play that second line then from left to right. Uh, those four um, triads there. So let's get the metronome wound up. And uh, we're just going to literally play it as written from left to right. One, two, three, four. Yeah, in the first bar you can hear that. Bless them all, they'll be blue. And whatever two on a taxi was. So um, let's do it again, it's after four. One, two, three, four. Bless them all. And down. Of course, it only applies to the two going up, the bless them all. Last time. Two, three, four. Um, moving on to the next line, and we've got um, just a, a fairly classic way of practicing uh, a scale is to um, go in ascending thirds. So you play a third up from the first note, then a third up from the second note. Da, 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 da. It's quite a melodic way of um, practicing a scale rather than just running up and down. So, um, okay, we've got, um, we're just going to do a few here, not go through the whole octave. So I'm just going to play from left to right the third line, just as written. One, two, three, four.
know you can't all sing while you're playing your instrument, but um, it's a good way to practice actually and learn um, scales and tunes and everything else is to actually sing them f first. And I don't, don't just mean once, I mean sing it, like spend a day singing them until it's you've got it really internalised um, mentally in your mind how the song goes and then then pick up your instrument and play it and it will come a lot more quickly than just going straight to the music and playing it off the page. Unless you're a very good reader and you can just say all three of these things, but it's good to get it, um, especially if you want to memorise it, get it internalised by singing it first. And maybe we'll do that next week. We'll sing those major scales before we play them. Uh, always a good idea. Right, let's move on to the uh, rhythms based on that triad. So lots of bless em alls. <laughs> and um, quite a few semiquavers in there as well. So looking forward to that. Let's go to the first bar then, uh, the one under where it says rhythms based on triad. And we'll just play that one bar. Let's just loop that bar. I think that's relative. In fact, we've kind of done that one already. But um, the fingering is different for guitarists, so just watch out for that. Uh, so the first bar, those three notes, just loop it. One, two, three, four. playing it quite low down on the guitar and um, bass players obviously all play down there but um, other instruments you know if if it's too low do play an octave higher or play in an uncomfortable part of the instrument give yourself a bit of practice in a, a part that you don't often uh, go to so um, you can choose which octave you play all of these in so let's go on to the uh, second bar and uh, unless you've just come here for an easy life <laughs> uh, second bar Bum, 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 bum. Uh, one, two, three, four. one last week um, it is a three offbeat crotchet length notes playing that first inversion major triad so after four just play it once one two three four and again one two three four Two, three, four. Okay, now let's loop it. One, two, three, four. on to bar four and a pair of uh, triads here after four I'll just play it once one two three four the last 
last line, and we've got some triplets to start with. Do 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 do. I'll just play it once. One, two, three, four. And again, after four. One, two, three, four. Our guitarist can do a bit of sweet picking here. So all down strokes on those first three notes. So you're just kind of slowly strumming across the strings. Um, and again, let's loop that bar. So the first bar on the bottom line, looped. One, two, three, four. Last time. Uh, second bar. It's got some semi quavers. Da 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 da. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's some serious tonguing going on here at the moment. Here we go. Loot. Two, three, four. Bottom line. Uh, okay, good. Don't forget, watch out for that rest at the beginning. One, two, three, four. A bit more sweet picking for the uh, guitarists. One, two, three, four. Let's loop that. One, two, three, four. Whatever the instrument, it's got its difficulties. Um, okay, on to this last one now. Da -da 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 <laughs> well, that's the rhythm, not about the notes, but um, um, let's have a go at the fourth bar then, and kind of a broken up set of arpeggios. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, there are our rhythms, that's our sheet. We're gonna just move on now for the final part of the Friday morning warm up, and that is to uh, strum some chords and uh, let you do what you like. Uh, this chord sequence is um, based on the F Mixolydian scale. So that means you can use that scale to improvise, um, to make up some little melodies or just play chord tones and all those other things that uh, you might like to do, root notes perhaps. Play through the thirds, just play the thirds and nothing else. Enclosures, how about that? Chord tones plus enclosures. So I'm just gonna strum along for a minute. Let's get the old egg timer going. Who has an egg timer for one minute? Must be a not very well cooked egg. Um, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
Last time all the way through. F. Finish on the F. And there we go. So that's um, today's warm up. I hope you're all nice and warm. And um, I think it's going to be a sunny morning for most of us. So uh, if you've got your allocated um, exercise decided upon, I hope it's in the sunshine. Right. I'm going to see if I can get rid of my spotlight. I'm not sure how. Oh, there Thanks, we go. Dave. Yeah. All Thank right, everybody. Much, if you'd like to unmute yourself, and I'll see you all next week, if not before. Or Thanks very much, Dave. Bye, 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 everybody.